Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's try to multiply a two-digit number by 25. And there's a real neat little trick to that. What you do is you take the number and you first divide it by 4 and then you add two zeros to it. So take the number 24, divide it by 4, you get 6, add two zeros, the answer is 600. Same with 36. 36 times 25, take the number 36 and divide by 4, you get 9, add two zeros, you get 900. How about 44 times 25? 44 divided by 4 gives you 11, add two zeros gives you 1100. So that all works out really neat and really fast. But when you get a number like 22, it's a little bit more complicated, just a little, not a lot. 22 divided by 4, what is that equal to? Well, that's actually 5.5, and then you have to multiply that times 100, which means you're going to move the decimal place over two places. The answer is 500. And 50. How about the number 17 times 25? You take 17 divided by 4, that would be 4.25, and then multiply times 100, which means move the decimal place over twice, and you get 425. So the way you multiply times 25, you take the number, divide it by 4, add two zeros, if you can cleanly divide the number by 4, or if you can't like this, you take 22 divided by 4, which is 5.5, Add two zeros, really multiply times 100 means move the decimal place over two places, you get 550. 17 divided by 4, that's 4 and a quarter. Move the decimal place over twice, that's the same as multiply times 100, you get 425. That's how we multiply very quickly in our head a number by 25. Divide by 4, add two zeros, or divide by 4 and move the decimal place over twice. And that's how we do that.